Hello there, this is Andrew Lynch from Andrew Lynch Golf and hello golfers. Well, I've got Hideki Matsuyama uh, here. He's uh, a hot prospect for 2014 on the US PGA Tour. He's done well on the Japan Tour last year, over $2 million. And uh, he qualified for the US Tour. And uh, he's a long hitter. And uh, there's a lot of good things that he does in this swing. Uh, and let's have a look at them. So first off, let's have a look at this uh, swing here. Bang. Just uh, can't help yourself when you see that. You just want to get, you just kind of like, you see the power in there. So let's see, I've got the lines drawn in there. That's on the side of his head, which he goes down to his ball position, top of his head, and through his front ankle. So uh, on the left hand side, I've got his back side line and the top of his head. So let's have a look at that in slow motion. And there we go, we see the head does move there, probably a couple of inches, three inches tops, but like George Nudson said, you don't hit the golf ball with your head. So no problem there. You can see how he's loading up into the ground. Right there. He's loading up into the ground there. And you, know, you can see that we're now there pushing that compression that you know force into the ground that's great and then we kind of get to that famous hadiki pause which i prefer to say it's not a pause at all it's actually like a magic trick he's kind of getting you to look at the left hand when you should be looking at the right hand don't look at the club look at his body it never stops moving and so this is like that the bull whip, you know, the the tip never stops moving, but the the butt is, which for me is kind of like from the from the knee down, does all the work. And so he's already shifting. See, they shifting back onto the front foot, transferring power up the body, and then the club starts coming down. But it's it's the body that's controlling this swing. And you see how his head's lowered because he's compressing into that front foot. Now, the other thing is you can see how he's shifted forward of that yellow line on his head, which, as you noticed at address, was just at the back of the ball. So if he shifts over that line, he shifts his center which is, if you're going to pick a fault with this swing, this would be it. So he shifted that center a little bit there, and by two or three inches, and so he's going to have to make a little compensation move there with his hands, which we'll look at on the next one. But there, you can see he's posted onto the front, line of kind of compression there, down through the shoulder, the arm, the club, the leg. That's all very good. Again, now the head comes up, but the power's gone. It's been pressed into that ball, compressed into that ball. So let's have a look at the left-hand side. He's set up here for a slight fade. He actually put this shot 215 yards a foot from the pin, so it's a good swing. So uh, let's have a look at this and just take this back to there. Let's get that line in there. 51 degrees for the center of the hip through the ear and take that club back. You see, rotates nicely around there. And this position, if we have a quick look, it's not very clear, but that is not toe up in the air. That's uh, again, that's uh, kind of the square to square, like Scott, like Cabrera. So, uh, like all the good players do, it's not toe up in the air, because that would be fanning the club open. And if you notice, his elbow is pointing down, which means he's not altered the leading edge angle. So that's good. And then compressing in, he stays on that backside line pretty good. There, that 
clubs. Let's see. 67 degrees. So that's similar again to a lot of good players. Not flat. Transfers there. And then this is that famous pause again. But you can see he's shifting. He's compressing into the ground. He's shifting off all that power from the back foot. Now you can see he stays on that back side line. Really good. See how far his head's coming down. Spine angle hasn't changed though. Still through his ear. And he's rotating hard. And there. Obviously we know this is a great shot. Now you can just see there. He kind of rolls it over a little bit. And this is the compensation move that I taught from the from a right hand video where he's a little bit ahead of that line so he's got to kind of work the hands a little bit more over so if that's his fault that's the only fault he's got but uh, he's a young guy and he's winning a ton of money so it's obviously not hampering him that much so there we go into a fine finish and that is Mr. Hideki Matsuyama I think he's definitely one to watch out for uh, and I think he's an exciting prospect, does a lot of things really well, creates a lot of compression with a great swing. Hope you've enjoyed. Take care for now. Bye.